kids. Rock hard ash. <laughs> there we go. Kushi Cho. I want to be the very best. Kushi Cho. No one ever was. Go, Kushi Cho. You can't be too hyped. Let's do instrumental next time. I, I tried to sing over it, and I feel like it didn't really work. What? I thought... Excuse I thought, me. I thought it was went well. Thanks, yeah, man. I liked yeah, it. it was okay. I enjoyed it. Anyways, uh, this is fun. We got some, like, Gen 2 mixed in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. I haven't seen that before. Okay. Um, welcome to episode 5 of The Cool Shit Show. I'm Stefan Spolino, joined always by Josh Coombs and featuring special guest. It's me. It's uh, Clifford, our friend Clifford, uh, our friend Clifford, Clifford from high school that we know yeah. uh, that's been our friend for a long time. And we wanted to have Clifford on. Yeah. Known you again since I was a shitty person. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, we feel like Clifford fits right in with uh, the cool shit that we have going on here we have I've known you since i was a good person i've known yeah dude <laughs> we've known you since we were good people so uh cliff um we start out our show every week with a game that i like to play and it's my favorite game and the game uh for new listeners and for you cliff because you're new what i do is i read two news articles not articles, like headlines. And one of them... Wait, actually, stop. Sorry. Okay, yes. Question. I love it already. Yes. No, it gets better. <laughs> so, I, I lied, though. I, I read three. But one of them, I just totally make up on the spot. Ooh, do we have to and guess? And you guys have to guess which one is real. I guess the first one. <laughs> which one is fake. <laughs> okay, so... Now, Stefan, so now decide yeah, so whether now or not you win. Now doing. I have to shuffle it. <laughs> I was going to go first. Now I have to shuffle it. <laughs> See, that was more of a psychology question, folks, rather than an actual information. <laughs> so now you know yeah, it's not the first one. Okay, so here we go. And these are just the titles. The first one. Starbucks, despite its progressive leadership, is the popular coffee shop secretly a hotbed of cultural appropriation? <laughs> True. The wait, second oh, one. We, we, do we do we wait till the end to get? Yeah, yeah, you gotta wait till the end. Right. So we have to the hear how ridiculous they are. The second one. Uh, Peanut butter and jelly. Racist. <laughs> Portland school principal ties sandwich to white privilege. What? That's also true for sure, right? Oh my god. <laughs> and the third one. Why kids love fascist cartoons like <laughs> Paw Patrol and Thomas. <laughs> Yeah, that's so weird. I asked myself that this morning on the way to work. <laughs> so, uh, guys. Fascist, fascist cartoons. Fascist cartoons. Like Thomas. No, no. no Thomas, no. they say it's absolutely. It's too crazy. Like, it's too crazy. Nothing. So, two of those enough. are real headlines. And one Definitely of them. Definitely the third one. Because one it's made like up. ridiculous. So, that's real, right? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, we'll we'll take turns. Go ahead. Okay. Make your you make think? your decision. So which one's, which one's fake? You. I'm going to say I, I called you on the first one right off the bat. And then you're not going to make it that that third one's obviously real because it's a ridiculous. The third one's real? Yeah. Okay. Right? Okay. That's a good that's So a good uh, my analysis is the second one is the fake one, even though it's the most believable in yeah. terms of like how peanut, the world Peanut butter works. and jelly is racist is the fake one, you think? Yeah, in terms okay. of today's climate, I would believe that one over the others. But based on... How this has gone so far, I'm going to guess the second one. is The second one. Okay. Yeah. So Cliff votes for uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are racist. Josh, what is your vote? Well, even though I personally believe that peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are racist. Kind of. I'd say so, too. They're real racist. Actually, that's what I'm saying. I agree <laughs> that's with what that I, one. I, I go to school. I went to school with... With PB and J, and I was like, I'm privileged because I have a sandwich. Yeah, some people don't. That's Actually, white privilege. I didn't really. I got yeah. like, dude, like, I grew up with just J, guys. Just J. Just, just J. <laughs> Where is your white privilege now? I'm telling you, I found it the day I found the P. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is it cultural appropriation because black people found no, it's because it I, peanut I, butter? No, it's because I, I, uh, wore dreads at the time. 
<laughs> you wore dreads while eating PB and J, dude. Are you a white supremacist? How dare you, Josh? What's your verdict? I think the PB and J one is, is fake. fake. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> you guys have, no matter who we have on, no one has gotten a what? single one right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we got them in little opposite order then, right? Well. Starbucks. I just wrote that on a notepad. Oh my god. The first one was, it was fake. The first... Oh <laughs> my god. He's st- oh man. I see you guys. I went for it anyway. It's funny because I actually can tell the future. I just never trust myself. So <laughs> it's like a horrible gift with a wonderful outcome every single time. So why kids love fascist cartoons like Paw Patrol and Thomas? That is a CNN article. Oh my god. And uh. The <laughs> I knew that that one had to be real. Like, where Peanut, would you even come up with that? Peanut butter and jelly racist. Portland school principal ties sandwich to white privilege. That is a HuffPost article. Oh yeah, my God. No, yeah. Also, I guarantee that uh, principal. He said, "I don't know whether we should have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or not." Are, that was the extent of his comment, and they turned it into. <laughs> yeah. Are, they are peanut white? butter and jelly sandwiches racist? Because of the one other thing that this principal said that was super significant and didn't so, have anything to do with the issue. Mm. As That's always, how it goes every time. I, I mean, so far like we we do a little research on the show, and they always turn like the last one I think was uh, like, can my friends or can my children be friends with white people? Just straight up. And I, Josh was like, there's no way somebody would write that. And not only did someone write it, but he went on uh, Fox News, like, defending himself. He found out the answer was no. <laughs> he found out the answer was no. Yeah, we, like, watched through this thing with uh, his interview with Tucker Carlson. And uh, it was pretty, pretty sad to see him kind of backpedal. But he also was just, like, towards the end, he just wouldn't answer a question yeah. at all. He was mm-hmm. just, like like answering with other questions and then tucker carlson was like all right well i'm done here (laughs) i think we're done here so as always i just grabbed the headline and i think it's best to leave the uh the research for the show so is there anything you want to look further into between those two titles oh wait so i would like to look into i'm kind of right now i kind of lost track my thoughts i would like to see how uh, peanut butter and jelly is made. No, <laughs> no I'm kidding. I don't want to see that. Let's find out if it's racist. Yeah. But yeah, you... no, that's what I'm saying. Is it just white people or? I think only white people can yeah, be racist. Who else make... I mean, or make peanut butter and jellies. No, I know for a fact that oh, that's not definitely true. Definitely only white people can make PB and J. I know for a fact that's not true because this one time I went to a peanut factory. Did you? Yeah. And guess what? One Asian person. <laughs> Ooh, PB and J otter. <laughs> that reminds me of our conversation about otters. I watched a uh, a female otter get uh, raped, raped and killed. Oh, nice. Raped I mean, not death. nice. I, don't know why I said nice. <laughs> I mean, like, for the fact, I don't know. It's like not a nice. Learning, it's um, a learning experience. Of course, average. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, uh, Josh, let's pull up that article. It's a HuffPost article. Peanut butter and jelly racist. Uh, there you go. Um, let's see what this says. Wait, did it say principal throws... Oh, I thought it said principal throws pies. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's ties. Okay. Sandwich. Sandwich. Oh, oh, this is good. I already I already, I already, can tell it's going to get good here. So I'll, I'll, I'll read this, and then we can talk about it. Not the whole thing, but just where I think it stops First, getting ridiculous. what is that name? Berenice? Berenice Gutierrez. Um, so... <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> <laughs> a lunchtime staple of students for years. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich could be considered one of the more popular items found in the sack lunches of school children. But in conjunction with recent equity training in local Portland schools, one principal is raising questions about the mention of the sandwich, arguing it has broader implications about race. The sandwich was reportedly mentioned in a lesson plan last year. <laughs> Berenice... Gutierrez from Harvey Scott K through eight school uses it as an example of a subtle form of racism <laughs> in language, according to the report. What about Somali or Hispanic students who might not eat sandwiches? Gutierrez <laughs> said. <laughs> Another way would be to say Americans eat peanut butter and jelly. Do you have anything like that? Let them tell you. 
Maybe they eat torta or pita. <laughs> as part of our training program, known as Courageous Conversations, <laughs> that has been faced into Portland schools in recent years, the Tribune reports that staff members at Gutierrez's school have been going through trainings, Jesus. classroom observations and exercises, such as reading a news article and then talking about it from the perspective of white privilege. There's like a 70-year-old math teacher with tenure that was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, this cannot trouble. be a general opinion. This cannot. This can't be something that's widespread, can it? Ooh, oh, man. I'm talking about peanut butter, oh, actually, guys. I'm down. sorry, I'm talking about all bread. <laughs> if if uh, peanut yes. butter oh, could yeah. be widespread. Yeah. I think I'll, I'll yeah. something fun This cannot here. be something that butter is applied underneath to. Could what? it be, possibly, you think? I think so. Like what? lubricating butter for the issue? <laughs> what is the verdict on grilled cheese? Racist? Sexist? One person <laughs> tweeted. Yes. All sandwiches are racist. It's the name sandwich. The poor tortas are discriminated against. It's because women are forced to make them by their husbands, yes, right? dude, of course. I think so, correct. Sandwiches are inherently... That makes it makes sense. What's the name for being bad to ladies? My husband forces me to make a sandwich every day. Mis misogynist or misogyn misogyny? Misogynist. Yeah. Sandwiches misogyny are makes it sound like a wedding proposal. <laughs> sandwiches are, sandwiches are congeniality. Sandwiches are miscongenialities. <laughs> Okay, do you guys want to find out why uh, Thomas the Tank Engine is oh, is yeah. a fascist? <laughs> I forgot what? about that one. That's like you so know. much better. <laughs> that one might be better, actually. I mean, this is like so dumb; it's like believable. I thought you guys might get that, but um, oh, it's the second one. Why kids love fascist cartoons like Paw Patrol and Tom? Paw Patrol. Wow. Oh God. Uh oh, looks like you're using an ad blocker. Screw you, CNN. Are you ready to ready to dive dive into this one? Okay, here's here's how the article starts. Parents like to see themselves as purveyors of possibility. We want our children to inhabit a world in which identities are both mutable and equal. Imagination and empathy reign supreme. But young children, as dictated by their tastes in popular culture, have something else in mind. They're drawn to worlds in which identities are fixed. Order trumps imagination, and transgressions are met with routine punishment. The clash between what parents desire for their children and what children desire for themselves is most easily observable in cartoon preferences. So often, the more parents dislike a show, the more their children love it. Two of the most divisive shows are Thomas the Tank Engine and fucking Paw Patrol. <laughs> Both of which have been eviscerated by grown-ups on discussion boards, in social media, and in widely shared essays in prestigious publications. Oh, this is where it gets good. Thomas, the long-running television franchise about a group of working trains chugging away on the island of Sodor, has been called... Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Can you reread that sentence but in a sexy voice, please? Thomas, the long-running television franchise, a proud group of working trains chugging away on the island of Sodor. Mm, I think we all enjoyed that. Has right, been continue. called yeah, a pre-modern corporate totalitarian dystopia <laughs> in the New Yorker, imperialist and sinister in Slate, and classist, sexist, and anti-environmentalist in The Guardian. And yet people, presumably parents, spend $1 billion on Thomas merchandise every year. That doesn't even make sense. How could anyone buy a cute little train with a face on it after that? I, I, I feel like I, I got to address Paw Patrol, too. Paw Patrol is equally polarizing. Oh, hi. Uh, what's that guy's name? Anderson Cooper? Hi, Anderson Cooper. Paw Patrol is equally polarizing. Let me scroll up just a little bit. Oh, sorry. The show about a group of rescue dogs led by a boy named Ryder is a regular source of complaint amongst parents of adoration among their kids. BuzzFeed called the show terrible and pointed to instances of gender and social inequality that go unchecked on the show. Okay. <laughs> is that uh, is that all we need to read? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> what, what, where does that outrage come from? Like, what is the... Boredom. <laughs> Boredom. Yeah, like, what... So when it comes to things like this, my personal opinion, I don't think anybody has ever said it better. Um, 
Joe Rogan on one of his podcasts said that he thinks the reason for all this like wackiness and people worrying it's outrage like, culture out, yeah outrage culture is too much food <laughs> oh you know what oh my god i was just saying that the other day when i was eating my foot long in that subway yeah. i was trying to eat fresh he's like <laughs> nobody nobody like you can go anywhere and get food nobody has to worry about finding their own food hunting you can just go anywhere and get food if people had to worry about you know Oh no! Yeah, they're they're trying to find something to distract themselves from just people had, life. If yeah. people had anything, yeah. none of this would be a thing, and people have too much free time, and are getting dumb because of it. Yeah. You know what my favorite Joe Rogan quote is, "Don't trust me, I don't know shit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he makes good good points like that that like could be looked into, but then at the same time he's like, "Yeah, but at the same time." <laughs> just like a dude yeah talking about stuff i don't know about i don't i don't know what i'm talking about most of the time i know I but mean, it's I fun to, that's, th- that's fun. the thing that's like the funnest thing to do to me yeah talk about something talk about things really that know. i have no expertise in it yeah. whatsoever i think that's as good a guess as any though there's yeah. just too much time that's another way of saying yeah no too yeah much exactly time. right it's not like he put no thought into it it's just the fact that he's <laughs> not just that, too much food just too yeah no yeah really like when you have everything you need, what it's do you like do? It's like it's like food represents the whole issue that is com like just uh, comfort. La- yeah, lack of discomfort even yeah. more so. Mm-hmm. Like, and what do you do when you're too comfortable? You dye your hair blue and you bitch about Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and why I it's can't... fascist? Yeah, I was I was scouring the internet this morning looking for things to be offended by, and I came across something that I never thought I would come by today. Well, it's like the people who like go through Twitter and try to get people fired. It's like that boredom, that same boredom, and some people, you know, they make money off of this stuff. I mean, clickbait. clickbait. A lot of people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is something that we have and will talk what kind about of, in the what kind of, uh, podcast. What kind of bait and tackle store do you go to in order to purchase clickbait? Clickbait? Like I, also, what kind of fish do you catch with clickbait? You, I'm a little bit confused. Fish. I don't really know what you it. Get what is that? Fish. Very gullible, gullible fish. fish. Okay. Well, actually, uh, you have to use a computer mouse. That's weird. Get, hey, That's uh, weird. Do the fish feeder, actually bite onto it? Can they fit their, their mouse. Both mouth around it? <laughs> a feeder mouse. Yes. You have to. You have to fish. Fish with a feeder mouse. Okay. Also, what is catfishing? Can you guys explain that to me? Catfishing. Yeah. I love that. Does that show have anything so to do much. with clickbait? Uh, do you no. do you use clickbait to catch a catfish? I feel like you could. Technically, I, I like guess you if you too. use the uh, IP address bouncing off of it, you could. Or if you're that's just a, like, an extremely real answer. <laughs> <laughs> you could be like, I'm lonely as fuck and have great abs. Find out why doctors hate me, <laughs> and then and then maybe some. Fat chicks in Nebraska yeah, will, will a, a, a Craigslist ad that said, I took a pill and my penis is way bigger now. Come check it out. <laughs> then, ne- then right next to it is the girl from Ridiculousness and then Minkus from Boy Meets World. <laughs> Say, look where Minkus <laughs> looks like You'll never like believe now. where Minkus is now. So there you go. That is how clickbait leads to catfish. <laughs> catfish is about like where there's a, um, a an, an unfortunate looking person. Who like who they trick lonely. you? They trick you over no, the I, internet. No, I I'm, or I was kidding. I know what catfish is. I a do cat- that all the time. No, <laughs> <laughs> the catfish is like you you have to put a catfish. Yeah, you take in it from a, a different angle, so it looks way longer than normal. <laughs> <laughs> right? And you wear a nice watch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you put your hand, you got to put your hand in there. Yeah. You gotta switch up hands. And you also maybe a quarter if you're really to trying to like dominant to your non-dominant <laughs> hand. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah, and you use like one of those short pencils, but you pretend it's like one of the like long pencils, you know, like <laughs> yeah. the, the mini pencils. The real thing, like golf Dick pencils. <laughs> yeah, yeah, golf pencils, exactly. Yeah. Wait, what? You, Except you, they're mini golf pencils <laughs> because you golf. can't afford. Like I got checked out there for a second. I came back to golf pencils. <laughs> talking about dick pics now. Uh, oh, because you want to keep it sharp. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you Everyone keep a sharp, wants a sharp dick. <laughs> sharp and short. You could have shaved like, a little bit off every day. Yeah. Good at like keeping track of you know how many golf balls you've hit into the water. <laughs> yeah. Like I just use sandpaper. So, uh, my girlfriend has this friend, and this friend has like 
these these guys that hit on her and so i i hear all these conversations and some of the things are like so strange they're like i don't, I don't know how out there you guys have, are with your flirtations when you've been single but but some of the stuff i don't that, remember that gets, being single yeah i mean it's <laughs> no, been a while yeah. for me too i don't remember being single either and i'm single right now <laughs> You don't remember much, do you, buddy? I don't. In fact, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. The fact that I'm not single. What? What are you guys trying to bully me or something? I don't know. I have to go pee already, though. <laughs> me oh, too. Nice. All right. Hashtag hey, I'll just, take a pee break. I'll just take no, I'll <laughs> just, just take, take the take the reins for about take the reins. however many couple of minutes. Oh, talk as long as uh, I'd love to. I'd Josh, love to. I'm right behind you. So we're going to take a pee break, a uh, cool shit show, where we take cool peas also. Oh. <laughs> so we left off. Um... So I was talking about, so my, <coughs> excuse me, God, I think I'm done. Give me just a sec. <clears throat> what were we talking about? Oh yeah, cool shit. Forgot. Yeah, we're talking about cool shit. So my girlfriend has this friend, right? And she she's single and uh, I don't know, I guess she like knows like dudes and um, so – so it's funny. She gets like texts and like DMs and things like that. And we all kind of like laugh about it at my patio table in the backyard. <laughs> and so one of the, one of the, I'm not sure if it was a DM or a message. It was, uh, I want to eat your shitter like an apple fritter. <laughs> God damn it. Whoa, wait, are you telling me she was actually talking to Kanye? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Was it? Oh, I'm trying to think of. Akon. Like, yeah, it is Akon. Yeah, that would be Akon, right? <laughs> yeah. No matter what point in my life, no matter how T Pain maybe? Messed up I was. I could never picture myself hitting send on something like that. <laughs> to anyone. Especially something that rhymes. Wait, hold up, hold up. So you, but you you can see yourself typing it out, just not going through with it? Because that makes way more sense to me. I could see Stefan send never that thinking of it to me. I, yeah, I'd send that to like one of you guys. In but... fact, wait, did I send that to you guys last night? Or... <laughs> Not like any other uh, living human female. I don't think I, would, I don't think I could ever send anything like that. Only to so is there like ones. have 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 any of you sent like uh, inappropriate text? Like Josh, someone? you've been tied down for ten years. Um, so I guess I'm talking to you, Cliff. No, I have, I have. Are you a purveyor of uh, creepy messages? I think or? it's pronounced pervert, but I, I yes. <laughs> <You're> kind of, <laughs> you pervert. Yeah. Um, this so what, go, what goes through your head? Okay. Are so, you just like really drunk or? And, no. Uh, well, I guess you could just end the interview with just answering your own question. <laughs> no, but also, no, yeah, uh, alcohol has a lot to do with it. But also, um, never ever getting laid has a, also a lot to do with it. So yeah, it's like a perpetual cycle. Or uh, like it's like the 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 less you get it, the more you don't. Or like the more the more you just the more you just shoot your shot, and you're like, fuck, I'll yeah, just exactly. send like yeah, yeah. It's like I I guess I don't give a fuck because it's never gonna happen anyway. So I'll just send yeah. like a picture of my dick with like some cats like next to it or yeah, yeah, exactly. Know, just like see, this one see time, what she thinks. This like one time see if she gets a, the message. I sent a picture of another dude's dick that was smaller than mine, <laughs> just to make sure, just like. Because if they're like, mm. I'm sorry, I can't. I could can, I be like, all right, well, that's all she wanted me for, so fuck her. Then you don't love <laughs> I'm looking me for, for love. Me. I'm looking for love, not, <laughs> not below average dicks. Exactly. I want companionship, okay? Exactly. You shouldn't care. I know. That's why I'm on Tinder. If you want to look <laughs> me up. Are you? Are you on Tinder? Yeah, yeah. How's that going? I've never, I've, since Tinder's inception, I've, I've always uh, <clears throat> had a girlfriend so I'm curious, how is that working for you? Like, how have you gone on any dates or like? Have yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, the first ever Tinder date I went on, I dated a girl for a year. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's a true story, wow. actually. That's kind of sick. It's not even. Yeah. Have you been on like some shitty, like weird ones or? Uh no, I've actually been on five now. Yeah. So it's been like three years since I've been on Tinder. I've been on five dates. So are they like date dates or like? Yeah, they're like date dates, and then we like talk for a little while, and then eventually. They're like, ah, oh, you're annoying and shit. No, okay. like, they so s- they don't say that. They're not rude people. They're have nice you ever people. matched with like someone you know, like I don't know, maybe a cousin or? 
I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but have you ever matched with someone no, that, that you no, like? No, I to... had sex with my cousin outside of Tinder. It was actually just an <laughs> organic thing that just happened. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, man. No, but uh, no, I've never <laughs> actually... Uh, yeah, like it, it's like. Have you yeah. matched with someone like from high school that you knew from yeah. high school? Yeah. Yeah, a few times. Weird. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, it's weird. It's small town Tinder. Because small town Tinder. Yeah. The, dude, the thing is, like, I had an image and I thought everyone was like a certain way back then. And I kind of try and assume that everyone else has realized that the, all those images that you had back then, like, didn't really mean much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It should be dissolved in, like, your new perception of how you, like, view people. But. Doesn't always happen, and sometimes they're just like, "Ah, you're still a dick." Like, and I'm like oh fuck, what do you think I was gonna change? Jesus Christ. I I have a, I have something kind of funny about that, not related to women, of course, but <laughs> so there's this guy in in high school, um, that went to not my high school, but the one right across the street to your high school. Oh Clifford. yeah, you're talking about the more poor, less white high school. Exactly that one. So there's this guy there. You guys know <laughs> about the high school I went to, right? Oh, yeah, much more white, much less poor, right? Actually, opposite. Way really? other way, way around. Way less Wait, white. more black Way people. more poor. More not black, but... What, what did we call them on uh, agricultural? Oh, the more agricultural, um, agriculturally oh, proficient. You guys are talking <laughs> about all those people that stole our jobs. Mm. No, that... I- Took her gerbs. I wouldn't have worked in that situation anyway. Neither would I. Plus, I'm too tall. My back hurts too I, much. I am yeah, one yeah, quarter of Mexican. So you family. can say all these things. Nice. Yeah, oh, I'm half Spanish. So, ooh, but it's different because no, it's not it's the same that, thing at all. That's what I'm saying. I can't say any of this, but I still am. That's actually worse because you raped and killed my people. Mm, that's true. That's so how you guys. How do you Native we, American? We actually or are you no 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 Mayan. Half and half. What? Mayan and you're, Spanish. You're not you're Mayan. Mayan. No, no, no. That's what Mexicans are. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. So My your ancestors. Yeah, exactly. My, my ancestors raped your my ancestors. ancestors. Um, interesting, <laughs> interesting thing is that my family, like my Mexican side, at least on my grandma's side, have been in California <clears throat> for like a long time. Nice. Like several so, years? Yeah. Like five years, ten years. Nice. <laughs> so, not like decades. Like, not like more like, like my great 100? great great grandparents were. So like two hundred. So it was like when, when uh, California belonged to the Spanish still. Wow, Josh. Mm, so like five hundred years. Like that's a total well, guess. Is that anywhere 1200 close? Twelve hundred years. Twelve hundred years. Yeah. So what you're saying seems far is. Off. Snoke is Mexican. <laughs> My no, question what is, I'm saying how, is 3.5 million years ago. How many years after Lake that were the Star Wars commenced? Um, I've uh, heard that like Star 500? Wars actually mm-hmm. started like in, way in the past, the 1940s. Wow. What? Yeah. That's actually not that way in the past as I would think. Yeah. So let me tell my story because we got way, way sidetracked. <laughs> so Cliff was saying like he meets some people that on Tinder that he oh, yeah, that yeah, he yeah, went yeah. to high school with, and some shit changes and some shit's the same, right? I'm trying to scoot your chair forward. <clears throat> no, oh no, you're good. So there's this guy, um, and uh, I don't really know why he didn't like me. I think he like didn't like my hair or something. But it had something to do with uh, we both had like interest in some of the same girls in high school i think i think that was a big part of it and he just never wanted to admit it and he just Are said you it was my hair god i you know what no definitely oh, not god the devil no, not not either, not him either but um a so, human so this was like <laughs> no cliff so so this was like uh that was high school right all that drama and i, I hadn't seen this guy in uh i i saw him again we went to uh, Palisades, like a popular Pismo Beach, like popular beach spot, right? Really popular. Really popular, and uh, we were popular. both. We yeah, how were, popular was it? It's Can a, you describe it's like, it? Can you quantify? It? There's like many people that go there, and how they, many popular? They purvey the waves. One to ten <laughs> populars. Um, eight. I'd say eight out of ten. I mean, it's not. Can you give uh, me a one to ten? In between that, eight. Of, I'm gonna say eight point seven. Yeah, eight point seven popular. I mean Palisades. We all went to Palisades, right? Wait, eight point seven out of ten. Yeah, that's like way I, above. I like, that's, that's like most that's people. Shocking. That's like the pier during Pokemon Go. Yes. Mm. You know what that's like? 
That's like the... Oh, no, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we both ended up at this uh, this gathering of youth. Um, and and keep in mind, this is like four years after high school, dude. This is like a while, a while after high school, after all the... And we never fought or anything. It was just always known, like, he didn't like my hair or fucking whatever, or the girls that I talked to. <laughs> and so we meet up again at this... <clears throat> at this gathering and uh one of our mutual friends was like comes up to me and she was like hey um like so and so wants to fight you <laughs> and i was like oh really like i'm just kind of chilling here and he's kind of chilling over there she's like yeah i just wanted to warn you like in case anything goes down i was like okay well i haven't you know talked to him in four years and um interesting you know some people uh some people just hold on to old shit, I guess. And wait, who? Wait, hold, hold up. I'm, can you give a hint as to who that was? Some kind of like clue. Ooh, maybe even the murder weapon. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now, he's what fat. What did you kill him with? <clears throat> yeah, and where was it? <clears throat> Excuse me. I was um, choked up by the fact that that guy is dead now. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. The man dead. is gone. So anyways, I, I just stayed and tensions kept escalating and I was kind of like, is this really happening? You know, like the high school was a while ago. We are, we, are we doing like, is this, is this really going on? And are you um, still holding these feelings like, inside you, of you? Like, fuck, do you not like have a job or like yeah. anybody that cares about you? That have you, you had this, no like, other priorities in your I'm, life since then? An assault charge at the beach over like <laughs> my hair? <laughs> like. What is going on? So what happened at the beach? Um, nothing ended up happening because his group left and I just stayed there. It's anticlimactic, but... Wait, what? <sighs> no, what? No, I feel like it's how a good Quentin Tarantino movie would end. It is. It builds up and then you just don't come at the end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even come from the beginning. I actually stayed out of the theater entirely. <laughs> I actually like Quentin Tarantino. Me too. So He's I like, take offense like to that. One of my and He's I'm one of my favorite you at directors. The if, that, if that was a Quentin Tarantino movie, it would be Kill Bill Part One because I need a Part Two for it to be interesting. Ooh, that's actually a <laughs> no. slam from the what? past no, that ended what? up not working out later on. What happened though? Um, I mean that's pretty much it. I mean that's uh. Yeah. Oh wait, that story? True. We do need a volume two that's about one quarter more funny. Like. <laughs> more funny, more interesting, probably more everything. No, actually, I actually really enjoyed that, and I kind of liked the Peter off. Yeah. Yeah, it petered off. Uh, no, you know, it was a good story. It was not a good story. And no, I'm sorry I mean, for sharing it. it was but interesting... he had to share it, and it was something that I've not been thinking about recently, but thought about in the past. Like it was an interesting situation. It was kind of like a, just kind of about you know growing up and maybe people not growing up and just yeah learning from. Like, maybe people that have sadder lives than me, that they'd want to fight me over, uh, you know, whatever. There four, four there are poor after. people in Africa that are barely getting raped once or twice a day. <laughs> no, it's like my drama that happened like 10 years ago just means nothing compared to those poor African refugees. <laughs> refugees? Yeah. So, uh, with that story, um, we were doing this way out of order, but it doesn't matter because I don't think the show should have an order, personally. Yeah. Um, how about a cursed image? Do we want to do a cursed image? Yeah. Should we just Google cursed images? Yeah. Cliff, do you know what a cursed image is? Um, I feel like I don't. You're about to find out. So, we're going to Google cursed images. And then, usually, this is what is the title of our episode. But this episode, we're going to get to the title... In the next segment. Mm -hmm. So cursed images are just like weird photos that don't make sense <laughs> at all. Like, and do uh, time. Are the week. images that someone obviously went out of their way and you have no idea why they did it? Yes, exactly. Like this guy looks like he's milking his tire. <laughs> that guy looks like he's milking his own dick severed and attached to his tire but oh the plot thickens <laughs> the tire. also his bowl was made out of flesh he's he's using it as a like a, oh, a pottery potter's thing. wheel oh like yeah a, that's true but it also kind of looks like a uh, an alien dick or like a strange nipple that i've never seen before 
And this pot looks like it's full of blood. No, that looks that pot is made out of flesh. Or flesh, yeah. I'm gonna say flesh. Yeah. And I also think his arms got stuck and he died a long time ago. Everyone's just like marveling in the fact that he's still <laughs> I think, I think his he's body, a wax figure. His body's made of plaster, and then the pottery is made of flesh. Uh, uh, this looks fun. What is this in the corner here? Ooh, oh. yeah, that's a... I think that's a... Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, man, that should not be in here. Sorry, guys. That's me <laughs> last Halloween. Is that, that a spider? costume did not turn out how I thought a it would. A spider monkey? <laughs> I think that's Skeletor. But, oh, yeah, no, that is a spider monkey. Yeah. Um... <laughs> plunger kid oh my god that's the worst way to rape a child i've ever seen <laughs> you just stick a plunger onto them they can't escape where yeah. are they going you can't suck the poop out from that angle i don't think i don't think so either yeah that'd be kind of awkward because then you'd have to hold it out straight yeah and then like kick really hard yeah. even make, it's like not... so let's find a definitive cursed image for this week Ooh, Ooh, uh, cat. Oh, oh, that cat is pretty cursed. But I think I this think might be might more be cursed. cursed too. Is that a frog leg? There's a frog inside of this ice cream. Oh, oh man. Don't you hate when your frog tastes like strawberry? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like uh, we're looking at an ice cream bar. Oh, my God. Cursed image sweatshop. Ooh, I think I found my new favorite website. <laughs> Zipper rocks, um, bag yeah, rocks with teeth. Oh my god! Yeah, um, oh god! No, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh Jesus! That's funny. Oh yeah, there's a possum uh, duct taped to somebody's door. A dead possum. None of these are pleasurable to look at. <laughs> uh, uh, carrot rabbit man. Oh, what is? Is that a hand? Oh my god! That's the hairiest arm that I've ever seen. That is a wolf. That is literally mid-transition wolf, man. That is monkey boy eating a mm. hot... That is a gorilla that just got second-degree burns. Pastrami. <laughs> All over its hands. A sandwich? I don't know what that is. Ah. Oh, Skeeto boy. Oh, man. I thought there was someone oh, that Oh, I hate that picture. That that should be our cursed image. That is really cursed. That is cursed. so cursed. That's maybe the most cursed image I've ever seen. In fact, that kid ate way too much jello before he was about to have up a <laughs> So uh, our cursed image for the week, either um, Josh is going to put it up right now, but it's either a boy that had a lot of jello or ate a um, some type of canine that's put in a like a silver platter. I think it was that guy who was sticking his arms out in the picture before. <laughs> <laughs> that's his head. That's what his head looked like. Yeah. He was a mutant, exactly. a mutant human. So it's sloth. From uh, the Goonies, but he's eating. Hey, it's baby guys. sloth. It's baby sloth eating some type of canine. Span. I think I think uh, that guy's father was actually the Kool Aid Punch guy who jumps <laughs> the wall and goes, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." There you go. I actually hate this picture. So the quick. Yeah, this the might quicker, be my least favorite image of all time. The quicker we can move off of this, but it is very cursed. Uh, you know what? I don't know if I can do this. I feel like it's too like too cursed. cursed. Too, yeah, cursed. too cursed. For sure. I think it is too cursed. Frank's every sauce. I feel like that's the <laughs> least cursed image I've ever seen. Sixteen ounces in one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go down. What was that? One more down. One more downer. No. Oh. No. Okay, that's too That's, that's the that is cursed. Uh that's, that's a that's uh, all all. doll with a wasp nest. Oh. <laughs> nice. Top Scotch train. <laughs> If I had a nickel every time, I fell. The crab baby. Why are these all like scary stuff? I don't want to see scary. Because they're cursed, bro. Cursed they're images. They're cursed in a different Ooh, that's way. That's pretty cursed, but also what seems like nothing. What is it? All right, you guys. So that was probably uh, not very fun for our audio listeners. But the next segment will be fun for everyone. So I want to start this segment with, um, and this is rhetorical. You can answer if you want, but you don't have to answer. Have you ever found a uh, $20 bill or really any dollar bill in uh, some old jeans or maybe a pair of jeans that you washed or lost? Have you ever found something under your car seat 
in your center console that you've been looking for, longing for, nay, um, dreaming, dreaming for drugs. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Uh oh, what happened? What happened? Primary auto. Yeah, so we have we have the Twitch stream. Okay, Twitch stream's going. That's all that matters. So, have you have have you ever just been walking along and just in the gutter found a quarter, and you're like, "That's twenty five pennies. I'm gonna save this." And your day gets a little bit better. Have you ever gone to the grocery store? And somebody lets you cut in line because you only want to buy three things. Is yeah. that has that ever happened to any of you guys? This one time I went to the grocery store and I bought one thing. Lady in front of me bought two. Let me go in front of her. Wow, that's I said, great. I said no. That math doesn't even make sense. She refused. <laughs> Still let me go in front. Wow. <laughs> that that was that probably made your day better, right? Or did you feel guilty after? Not that? only did it make my day better, but it made the food taste better. Well, hey. That's a that's a gain. That's a net gain. What singular item of food did you buy? I'll tell you what. It was a beer. It wasn't food. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll bet. Might have tasted better either way, but still, I it like to think. It was a nice think. crispy beer. Yeah. So uh, that feeling that you get when that happens. Um, on Thursday, when I was going through, uh, sorry, Cliff, when I was going through Twitter. Is uh, how I felt. I felt like I had nothing, and uh, immediately my life got better. Um, I gained something, and that something was big. And one of the formative first-person shooters of the early '90s, and I think I would argue all time, is a franchise called Doom. And this week, there was a bit of controversy surrounding the new Doom game, Doom Eternal. Uh-huh. Now, how do we want to kick this off? Okay, so I'm, a, not, a, I'm not totally up to date, so can you guys give me like a, oh. a real brief update? Okay, so first of all, <laughs> There was a um, gameplay trailer released. Um, that this is the video we we're watching earlier. They said, "Yeah, mortally challenged." Yeah. yeah. So that's what it is. There's a comment that is made. I'll just I'll just play it from that point, and then we'll talk about it right after. Remember, demon. Challenged. So there's uh in the game in the Doom gameplay reveal trailer, there was uh, a little it almost looks like Cortana from the Halo series, a little hologram that tells you to remember demons may be an offensive term. Please refer to them as mortally challenged. <laughs> so Remember those group of perpetually offended people that we were talking about in the first segment? Well, how do you think they took that joke? Do you think that they laughed I take at a it? Guess? Yeah, you can take a guess. I guess that they decided that Earth wasn't worth living on anymore and committed suicide by jettisoning out into space. The Earth would have been a better place if that happened. <laughs> I wish <laughs> but that didn't happen okay yeah that might have been more of my desire rather yeah. than my so in fairness yes. there was that one quote but there was also two more that people um had issue with and those quotes were my brothers and sisters let's help top let's help to make our friends transition into a world into our world a more comfortable one and Earth is the melting pot of the universe. So those two quotes and the mortally challenged quote. Wait, what? I'm um, what? What do the second two have to do with anything? Well, that those were also part of the the gameplay reveal trailer. What do they have a problem with those ones though? Well, oh, we're gonna get to wow. that. Those quotes, my friend, 
they're racist. <gasps> oh, I don't get it. Yeah. That. So I'm gonna read a couple. Uh, I'm gonna read a couple of Twitter reactions. Um. To that trailer. So this is connected to uh, this week in tweets. This week in tweets. Robin says, not sure what to think of Doom Eternal having not one, but two anti-SJW jokes in it. What happened to leaning into Nazi punching and the like? Doom and Wolfenstein 2 seem pretty self-aware of subtext, so I have trouble reading this trailer as anything but a dog whistle. And... Demon can be an offensive term. They prefer to be called mortally challenged. What is it with game devs and bad jokes? That's not funny. It's just irritatingly out of touch. No, that's funny. Wait, I have a question. Was the first one written by an actual dog? Is that why they're offended that (laughs) they were actually trying to whistle at them? Demon can be an offensive term, says the UAC voice in Doom Eternal. I hate that. Mm. But there's more. Didn't expect the team at ID Software to use Derm Eternal to explore themes of immigration, but here we are. <laughs> explore Jesus themes. Christ. Do you guys remember Duke Nukem 64? Yes. Okay, if they redid Duke Nukem, they, I mean, they just couldn't do it. They Didn't they do that, like, a few years back? But, like, modernize it, like... Not not just release it for the cult following. Yeah. Make it like a big release, like a whole new game. So I think this is my favorite tweet. In my honest opinion, Doom 2016 was fun and irreverent tone was refreshing, but the challenge and melting pot jokes are super bad taste at a time when ICE has become the new Gestapo for white supremacists. Oh my God. Are trying to stir up mass anti immigration sentiment. You know what's bad taste? N- my mom's spaghetti. I was lying before. Does not taste good. Bad taste is not making a joke that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. I think the joke did work. I thought it was funny. And I think what happened is uh, the people that put this trailer together just threw out a line. Mm-hmm. Right, and not only did the usual suspects bite the line, they bit it so hard that it ripped off their jaw. And after their jaw was ripped <laughs> off, they proceeded to follow it around, like like a magnet, towards like the, magnets, like some kind of transformer like, that just retracts back into itself. So the transformer that transforms into a fish. Yes. So you take you take a slight Ooh. jab at easily offended people. Do you think that they have enough self awareness? To realize what's happening, or do you think that they get outraged about it? No, they're what they are. Do they have like, any self awareness? They're like these. Pe- what happens? <laughs> what they are is that kid that's convincing himself he's grown a pube. It's like, no, Daniel, you've had that same weird long dark hair on your thigh since you were <laughs> five years old. That did not. That did not come from puberty. You're still like okay. For example, I hit puberty a couple years ago. And, <laughs> I was... What, like 24? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get something off my chest. All this hair. I want it off. (laughs) I'm serious. Like seven or eight hairs. I'm sick of it. What were we talking about? (laughs) I I don't know. This... This... This might be my favorite... uh, I mean, there's been a a ton of retard... Like, not retarded. That's insensitive. Here's the thing. Dude, what are we talking about (laughs) right now? Doom. Doom. This Doom trailer. They're called... Mortally challenged. And mortally challenged. So yeah, let's, demons. We yeah. should not call demons demons. We should call them mortally challenged. We should all call. We should also call people with big penises, uh, assholes. <laughs> I know, bigger than the rest of us. You dicks. How <laughs> dare you? We have. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, because you can go back and listen to other episodes. We've used the word retarded on the show. It's a fun word, and it has a little bit of a bite. Yeah, That's true. and it, really it's not it. necessarily... It's not unlike the word refrigerator, which seems to be... Pretty benign, right? Yeah, pretty, yeah, not not, so, uh, not what you think it would be. See, it sounds more offensive than it actually is. <laughs> so if anyone hasn't, like, figured out the connection, I'm going to spell it out. Retard. Mentally 
challenged. Ah, uh, oh, and then yes. oh, demon, okay. mortally challenged. So the social justice warriors got so upset about this trailer for a video game that they equated it to immigration. Mm -hmm. These two quotes: immigration, racism, and making fun of retarded people. What? Who? Who? Who's? Uh, how? These people are such good journalists. They're contacting every mom who's ever watched over their son's <laughs> shoulder and watched him play a video game. Like, I think how some they... of these same people wrote the Peanut Butter's Racist article. I was going to say. How is the demographic that's offended by this and the demographic that plays the game, this game overlapping? Like, How <laughs> is that even possible? Have you ever played Doom? I don't think they are, okay, which is why I seriously. think they don't care. And this is the thing that I don't understand uh, is that Doom is popular for this reason. Columbine. Mm. For years, they based theory. they based Doom literally Doom on Columbine on the Columbine shooting. So it's like Clue for sociopaths. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, it's like, uh, yeah, Clue for sociopaths. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's supposed to be like a a game for, you know, psychos. Yeah. And so, I mean, you chop demons in half with axes. What do, what do they hey, really how expect? How dare you, bro? <laughs> you Freezing. Mortally, Excuse mortally people in half. Mortally, mortally challenged. Challenge. And there's a couple of layers of this joke, which I really appreciate because it takes a little bit of a brain to, to connect the dots, but um, <laughs> not so, if you're mortally challenged. Not if you're mortally challenged. But <laughs> so. I, the reason uh, the the UAC that's talking, that's telling people, like trying to get them comfortable with demons invading the earth, they're the ones that release the demons into the earth. So they're kind of saying like... They have a, they have a justified propaganda yeah, mechanism. Yeah, yeah. They're like, it's propaganda. They're like, you know, they're not demons. They're mortally challenged. Really, it's okay. The earth... It's a big melting pot. We yeah. should accept these demons. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. These people were forcing you to fight in, or, in order to pretty much just murder you. <laughs> yes. So so it's almost like the like SJWs. It's almost like the Joseph Umbrella Warrior. Corporation of the Doom Universe. It is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Exactly. No, they uh, they kind of just pulled out. They're like, wait. <laughs> pulled out. That's a good yeah. metaphor, actually. They pulled <laughs> out. <laughs> Like, Wait a minute. Minute. Somebody's making fun of us. Yeah, they decided they? not to wear condom. <laughs> How do they? You fucks. Nobody <laughs> you can fucks. make fun of our side. Yeah. You assholes. You racists. They're probably like yeah. automatically like you're saying retarded are demons. Retarded yeah. people are demons. I know. Yeah. I, I, this is funny because this is this is the right bat wing. <laughs> God. Dude, I just hate this society. These damn liberals. Damn, damn lib cooks. Damn. Damn, lib yeah, the damn cucks that are controlling the media. <laughs> Conservatism is the new counterculture. Hey, I'll tell you what. I get more conservative every single time I look at the statue that I built by myself and all the, the weathers is destroying it. <laughs> I just want to conserve that. <laughs> just conserve it, again. dude. Yeah. Yeah, also it edit out this. Also, all of this yeah. talking about it, too. <laughs> Yeah, I know. No, actually, don't leave us talking about it. Leave us talking about it. That way it's like a mystery. Yeah. And so. then you can look it up if you buy the app. <laughs> if, we'll leave it We'll leave it all on Patreon. We'll there make it go. a Patreon exclusive exactly. where you can hear all of it Donate or some watch money. all of it. Patreon exclusive racism. Yeah. I think we're... That's an untapped market, dude. <clears throat> we could be millionaires. Yep. <laughs> Um, any closing thoughts on Doom? Yes. Yes. I feel like these kids are just sitting there and waiting to smash Fucking the dislike waiting, button. Dude. dude, seriously. They are like, um, the kid at a birthday party when all the confetti starts flowing down over, mm -hmm. like, the top of them. They're Instead sitting there of... in slow motion jumping up and down going, yes, I found someone. Idiot. It's like, yes, no, dude. you're not in on the joke. You yes. missed the joke. <laughs> no, no, you no. are dumb. You are the idiot. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You have not found an idiot. You have proved once again that you are in... What is it? Hermaphrodite. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. An idiot. You're an idiot. You are an idiot. You deserve to be called an idiot, not the person that you're trying to make fun of. Uh, if you are upset about the new Doom gameplay reveal trailer... You're looking for things. Trailer, you are looking for things, and you are the one that should be being made fun of. Which we are doing right now, and you deserve it. Yes. <laughs> you have no self-awareness. 
Uh, your funny button is broken. You have about as much self-awareness as a mirror that's facing another mirror. That's deep. That is deep. That's infinite. You could say it's... You eternal. can say it's zero. You, you can, can also say it's... Say it's... <laughs> <laughs> you can say it's eternal. Oh my god, I think it's just my eternal. favorite dinosaur. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Wait, you're... Yeah, we need to do Dino Talk really quick, and then we'll we'll close All right, this real one quick. out. And then we'll... I, dinosaurs aren't that important to me this week. Cliff mm. was important. Doom was important. I have one thing that's really yeah, important. Yeah, but dinosaurs are very Dinosaurs important. are always important. But yes, let's get to the dinosaurs, because we always do dinosaurs. It's a keynote of our show. Wait, can I start it off? Yes. What's your guys' favorite dinosaur? We did that a while ago, and it's too complicated a question. Okay, uh, that's good, answer, because I was going to but... let you answer, and then I was going to let you answer, answer, and then I was going to go... That's a dumb question. I would never answer something stupid like that because you can't have a favorite dinosaur. They're, They're all, all so, so good. Yeah, they all have their Most own. Most of mine were fictional versions of dinosaurs. <laughs> fictional uh, versions true. of T Rexes from he different was like, situations. T Rex, but not regular T Rexes. The T Rexes from Full Jurassic feather. Park. Uh, uh, one true. at the end that's roaring yep. as the banner falls down that says. Then it's the Jurassic a- Park, the uh, Jurassic Park ride at Universal Studios, mm. the large animatronic T Rex at the end. You know what T-Rex. I like? You know My what I like? Second favorite dinosaur. Skeletor. Skeletor? No, wait, no, that's not what I'm thinking of. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love that one. Skeletor is the villain from He Man. Yes. True. Easy to confuse. Yeah. <laughs> I can see why anybody yeah. would do yeah. that. Um, they both have spines. Yep. And one I want to have sex with. The other one was in a major motion picture. <laughs> <laughs> so which one do you want to have sex with? <laughs> <laughs> that was a mixed direction. I want to have sex with Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> if you the horsewoman. Yes, if you had also to you have can kind sex of see with... her entire skeleton. <laughs> if you get <laughs> if you had to have sex with one dinosaur, what would it be? Again, Sarah Jessica Parker. No, uh, <laughs> if I had to have sex with one, it would be I don't know. I'm gonna. Let... <laughs> Let's definitely take that one first. Uh, Velociraptor, because oh. it has a badass reputation, but it's actually really small, easy to take advantage of, but also very dangerous. So They're very you'd be bragging fast rights. and squirrely. That's true. Yeah, and they have, they still have those giant claws. That's not a myth. You, you yeah. could, you could probably lose your dick, but it might be like a clean cut, so you could probably get it sewed back on pretty yeah, safely this, yeah. and quickly. This also includes having to wrangle them down. And like fight them into submission. Oh well, if that's the case, then some kind of like cow, like like a stegosaurus that like won't even really feel me. I think that would f- really fuck you up. Probably it would just... actually, it actually might not feel. Yeah, like it might it. actually like literally be like, oh, fly. Like that might be way easier. Like fly in my yeah, butt. Been, and then yeah. you can just like kind of like maybe like, like have Ace a Ventura big old pet, harness. Yeah. Yeah. Ace Ventura pet detective exactly. when he oh, gets yeah. out of the, the rhinoceros. The, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the vaginal opening. The, yeah. The stegosaurus. <laughs> Yeah, I hope my mom doesn't see this episode. Um, I don't know why she would. I did delete it shortly after I posted it because I I felt like <laughs> we would probably go here to fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> um, probably. So this is one thing I really want to show you guys. Um, it's really exciting. <laughs> oh wow! Oh my god! Jurassic Lark. Real estate agent dresses as seven foot dinosaur to sell homes. My Negro. <laughs> There's some beautiful <laughs> images. Is that an untapped market or what? No, look at it. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> they really did. That's <laughs> actually a nice house. I like that deck a lot. I know, that's what I'm saying. Real, this real estate agent really had a Jurassic Lark. Attempting to sell one of her most recent properties by dressing in a seven-foot dinosaur costume. It's one of those big inflatable weird ones. Realtor Bambi Chase, weird word, weird name, dressed as the comedic T-Rex for the homes. The comedic. Is that like a specific thing? The, yeah, uh, the comedic T Rex is much different than the serious T Rex. Than the uh Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. True. Ah, I think that Comedic T-Rex has got to be in my top five now. Comedic T-Rex was the number one opening act of 1997. Of the entire year? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Just the whole year for everyone. Yeah. But Uh, unfortunately, Serious T-Rex was only the... I don't know. How far (laughs) down was it on the list? I don't think he charted. Yeah, out of that. Honestly. (laughs) I think he uncharted. 
Ooh. Speaking of which, video game. Chase, who works for Nebraska Realty. His course is named Chase. Uh, it's a uh, Bambi. Know Chase. Bambi. We, know Chase. It's a, we do know. He Chase. took all my goddamn money last week. I mean, uh, I think that's my bank. <laughs> <laughs> Chase Bank. Uh, Got it. Nebraska Realty. Wow. Oh, you know what? It's funny because she gets cuter. It does get cuter. As like the pictures go on. Yeah, and that's a female too. Her name is Bambi. Nice. I thought his name she was Chase. Portray, Last name Chase. She doesn't Chase. portray oh, a Bambi deer Chase. very well though. No. <laughs> she per- portrays a, a comedy T-Rex. Yeah, comedy T-Rex. I like this story. This is a nice... Uh, oh, is, oh, oh like cute. that's cute. That is cute. This is a nice, fun story that doesn't involve demons or rape or... Oh, that's oh, a yeah. little bit misogynistic. And also probably not safe. <laughs> it's a female it's a T-Rex A lot, lot of nylon around that. Yeah, I don't on. feel like that's very safe either. Wow. Okay, why does this dinosaur living better than me? <laughs> I know, seriously. Look at that patio set. What a bitch. That's like my dream house, actually. You know, that yeah, nice deck. Real. Like, look at that deck, dude. What, where does this wow. dinosaur live? The the early Jurassic period? Like, how low are these prices? Like, Nebraska. What does he do to afford <laughs> oh, this is house? Is it in Nebraska? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, early Jurassic. That's why it's only in Nebraska. Something Nebraska. Well, I could take my life savings, currently five hundred and sixty dollars, and I could probably get this house. <laughs> yeah, in but Nebraska. what was that worth sixty five million years ago? Oh my God, inflation, dude! I'd probably be like the richest man of all of the, or possibly the richest dinosaur of all time. <laughs> <laughs> he held on to bonds. Yeah, he bought a yes. lot of comets back in the day. Well, I mean, real estate. It was a surge also. in the market. <laughs> a surge in common, yeah. comments. <laughs> comments. Drinking a glass of wine in the garden. I didn't see any wine. Mm. I don't like that title. I think, he, I think they have some in there. No, I don't believe that. That's unrealistic. Well, what an uplifting way to uh to go out this week. Ooh, a little risque. Risk risqua thick qua. Mm. It's funny when they hide their nipples after they've already shown them. It's like, uh mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them already. Don't I don't look. really care, yeah. <laughs> Please don't look. Uh, mm. yeah, it's not fun now that I've mean, already I'm showing off, but it's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking sexy now, not naked. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah i'm good um well i think we're gonna go get some food so um mm-hmm. thank you jurassic lark thank you uh twitter social justice warriors thank you uh people that write uh funny news articles and thank you spider cats spider cats spider Does cat whatever spider. a spider can there you go. But Th- not whatever cats do. Thank you uh, to the legendary Cliff, mm. Clifford Dunlap, for joining us tonight. Uh, it was yeah, fun, dude. Guys. It was a lot of fun. Let's do it again uh, Hell yeah. sometime. I don't know when that sometime would be. You can say soon or never again. I would not be offended <laughs> by either one. <laughs> um, I, I'll vote for soon. All right, cool. I I'm think down. this is one of my favorite ones. I like this one. This is fun. I did, too. How about, how about in... Uh, ruin the format but I'd, i had fun there uh, is no format. there is no format mm. it's, we have a rough uh we no i meant a... physically I, I thought i might have put my glass a couple of times on the <laughs> <laughs> physically no yeah, all right cool like i said stefan already pointer slash coyote wrinkled it up, so. <laughs> ah, um uh thanks for everybody that watched us on twitch and everybody that's going to listen to us on itunes uh, or whatever podcasting app that you listen to podcasts on. YouTube. YouTube, too. You have the video on YouTube. And then patreon.com slash Star Wars After Hours Podcast. $3 a month. And you get cool shit. Mm, that's unless you, you type in, uh, what is it called? Uh, code Joe at login. Code Joe. <laughs> yeah. Co- Joe. Code word code Rogan. Rogan. Yeah, code that, word Rogan. Yeah, that's unless you type in Full sleeve arm tattoo at login and collect your prize. Yeah. Don't which do is, that. It won't work. Which is 0% off. <laughs> but you get to type, and that's good practice. We'll give that's you $1,000 exactly. and then take it back. It's really just to make right sure you're before. not a robot. 
named JN1278 or something similar to that. You remember the N. Because <laughs> nothing the, else. The Not N is really one. what makes you, though. That's the coding for my Well, that's, yeah, that's where all your personality is. If yeah, I do recall correctly. Personality. Anyways, uh, let's go get some food. Thank you, everybody. It's cool. been fun. Frosty Poopy, Eddie, Eddie, 45th and Broadway. You fucking using the ass. Thanks right. again, guys. Bye. Bye.